da 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 Welcome to part two, making a boat. I'm in my tank. Tank, I'm building the tank up. Woo! I'm building the tank up. See all these bolts right here? Deflected from there. So it's a great success. Now, gotta climb up the scaffolding. Ready? I'm just gonna teleport. Oops, it didn't work that time. Let me try again. Oh, that was kind of rough. Now we sit you up here. And I'll explain what's going on today. Got it. I'm not going to jump off of this. Oh, it's me. Got this boat. There we go, boat. Ah! So let me go get some supplies. So we're making the water line. Also, we're painting the boat and naming it today. I don't get why I lost some subscribers, but I don't really care about that. I care about your guys' entertainment because I don't like to clickbait anything. I just don't like to tell lies. And right now, we're in front of the SS Lucas Lifeboat, number 40. What was it about? 46, I think. This lifeboat is different from all the rest. About five lifeboats, about, I guess, ten lifeboats of the SS Lucas class had, had this type of style. It was a motorized boat that could fit about ten people. But this right here, I'll probably write five people or ten of them sitting on the phone with that. This was like meant for like all purposes. Like this was meant for only picking up people that fell overboard. And this was basically a rifle from the back that from the middle aft davits between the third and fourth funnel. Sadly, I did delete the ship and play crazy because it was too laggy. But I wish I had it back. Also, you cannot buy them. Right now, we're gonna be turning this. But right now, we're gonna be turning this into the water line and restoring the boat from its early glory. I used the original blueprints, and this will be used in a movie coming up soon after this movie. Anyways, let me cut back to the materials. Just climbing up here. All right, we'll see you in a little bit. So we have a problem. So when I was just over there looking for the tape, because I have these things, I really hope they're waterproof. I'll make sure to check earlier. But I was just over here. So I'm just walking over here. You know, I'm my job day looking for the tape. I'm just looking over here. Look, I go in this door. I look. There's no tape right now. So then I come over here. And I look over here. I'm like this. And then I stew up and the lights just flicker and all the stuff around here. Just the power just goes off for a second or two seconds and then it just comes back on. I don't know what happened. I just want to address you that. I don't know if it was a, a fuse or whatever. Maybe the fuse is faulty right now. But let's continue. Well, I used to have tape until I don't know where it went. Well, I guess we have to continue on. Really sad. Let's tape. Let's scratch tape like the one you're supposed to use. I just can't find it. So, ow. I actually just had a kitty on it, so get the paintbrush and paint and stuff. And then I'll paint. Now check out this paint. It is great by testing it. Let's head on. Idiot. Don't crash your kitty on baby. <laughs> ow. Ow. I hit my 
shoulder. I may sign on the helmet. Nah. You may go helmet. Yeah, no, no, next year. Anyways, let's continue. Well, bad news. These are not waterproof. Looks like we will have to find new paint. Okay. See if we can find any new ones. The light was supposed to be white, but we can't. We got this. I guess this right here is as close up is the closest option. Wait, the paintbrush. Ah. Ah. Okay. Got a paintbrush and some paint. Now I'm gonna start painting. Da 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 so we can make it oh yeah. I'll come back to you when I when I start painting. But first I need to scrape off some stuff real quickly. I'll be right back. Ow! My foot. But first we are there. Pull anything off. Why did I do this when I was young? You know what? I could just cut back on this and it's magically gone. But first, I'll just go with him. The cameraman is still. It's still on his. It's on break again. Why? So I sanded all this down and I'll make it better than I'm gonna vacuum it. And now I'm gonna show you what's done, and then when it's done, I'll start doing this side. And then we'll go for there. See you a little bit in a little bit. Wee! Oh, so I just have the first layer, the primary layer basically, or something like it. Now I have to do another layer. And that was it. So I'm gonna do the other side right now. So in my sandpaper over here, I'm ready to start doing it. It takes about, this took about 30 minutes for the first thing, so uh, Let's do it again, and then when I'm done with that one, I'll do another lay on that one, okay? I'll get you better camera utilization. Yes. <laughs> just don't ask why this is another chicken. Back there, but guess what? I just, the second layer on this, it looks a little better. You can compare the second layer to the first layer right here. See, it's more like doll looking. And the second layer is a little bit more better. So I'm just gonna repeat the layers until I get one of these eventually done. Oh, I can. I hope I can get this done in this video. It won't be. I. It won't be all like all waterproof. But I'm hoping to try to get something that's that's waterproof and laminate it over it. Well, we can see in the next video, right? Well, I'm probably gonna have a whole series on this boat if it actually works. I hope it doesn't capsize. Like it will because of all the stuff I put on it. I hope it doesn't, but let's figure out very soon. So I just got done painting these. This is the best I could paint them. I'm thinking of that's it for this boat right now. As I do the marking of the SS Lucas stain on the side. 
so I'll just complete that and then we're gonna run some tests and make it more look like a little better so I'll guess I will just leave you to watch me do it well you want to know what Lucas Jr. is why don't I just show you a clip what he's doing right now meanwhile what's happening with Lucas Jr. at Freddy Fazbear's Pizza right now Let's play the clip. Hmm, I think it's time to party. It's time to time to party. Disclaimer, this is not my song. I did not own it. Please do not copy by me. Me and the boys, Mike and Jeremy, reporting. Mike, I think I did something bad. Well, I'm sure he's fine. Don't you think so? I don't know. I'm just gonna go get some paint. I got this. Get some gum as well. There's no way this part is so loud. And it must be fun. But I'll come back when I am painting. Uh, yes, yeah, sir. It's not like Lucas Jr. and Mike and Jeremy and Fritz and somebody else are just dancing, going crazy like everyone. I wouldn't expect them to, but they probably would. You know how Lucas Jr. is. He really likes to party. Like a lot. But anyways, let me mark out the edit and let's start doing it. Alright. First thing you want to do. Why does it smell like sunscreen in here? <laughs> Look, literally. The first thing you want to do. You get a paintbrush a little bit. But you want it on both sides. So here and there. Let's see. First thing you want to do is draw the number of the light bulb. And this number is 46. I probably wouldn't need sandpaper that, so I'll be right back after I sandpaper. Or I could go do that. Okay, I'll be right back with a new paintbrush and sandpaper. Welcome to painting with, with me, your host. I don't know. Best thing you want to do, and that's not a paintbrush. That's what I did that time. Best thing you want to do is grab a pretty size uh, paintbrush here. And you want to paint the number you like. I sand it down. Because I just popped my legs right into time. So the number 40. Oh, sex. And just keep going over it. Make sure not to mess up like I just did right there. Okay. Clean things. 
go back to the six and make sure that's clean. There you go, life on number 46. And then you want to try the blue, straight, and black. That means you want a black hole. And then you want to put this up. You don't need it anymore. Make sure to do another layer over this when you get done with this, after it dries. Now we need dark blue for the around the edges. And then light blue. And you want your little tiny paintbrush? I'm gonna get all that off. Get all that off. And then you want a dark blue. I'm gonna use this a lot. And you want to do this. And you want to do this. Blue stand and flag. By the way, after this, make sure to put the name of the ship right here. SS Lucas right here. And I'll come back to you when it's done. So we're done. I don't know if this is going to stay when it hits water, though. That's the problem. If it doesn't, then it's fine. I really hope it stays. Well, I'm not going to do that side. Because... It's probably pointless, so I'm just gonna let you stare at the work that I did while I clean up. Did it take this time to try to copy it? Are you sure to sell it? If it does fail and capsize, it has a unique feature of being able to remove these top pieces that are brown. These top pieces are amaz amazingly used for when storms when there's bad weather during a rescue attempt. They're also used as paddle dangers that you can put your paddle in. I don't see any of those in that event. But at the end of this video, we will be able to make this and launch it from its this way. So make sure you stay tuned and I will set it up right now. Okay, so the first step to actually make sure this gets on safety. Make sure everything's clean, you have weights in your thing. But rise each thing up by one to make it level. So I'll do that off camera right now. Hello, you are a different camera angle because of this and now I'm gonna do it. So now I raised it up by one, but still not good enough. So I'm going to have two jack stands come up and lift it so it can actually get up there and actually get up on the wagon to show you guys at the end of the video. Both jacks are on and starting to be raised now. It's a troubling process, but I'll come back to you when it's about to be on the wagon. Oh, no, not the mystery. We repeat this is the emergency at Blue Starlight. The boat has fell off the slipway now, crashing into the tank right behind it. This statue did not have enough support and it collapsed right as that one, right as this thing was being upped to try to put on the thing, it collapsed immediately. That means the boat is probably damaged or, or beyond the point. We can hope that we can recover it. You guys should have saw it, but the camera was paused. Try to recover it right now. Well, this is, this is bad. This is really bad. I'll come back. We were able to put the boat back on the plane, but in the meantime, the tank got damaged, and we don't know if the boat got damaged any, because I heard some bending and cracking. All right, if it starts sinking, we're not good. So the crack's over there. I'm gonna investigate the crack, see if it's damaged or not. I hope not. <clears throat> Thank you.
No, it just looks like it held. Looks like it held. But anyways, let me get out. Let me get this out of here. And let's put the pedals in and then we just strap it down. Let's get it out there and show you guys it. And then that slipway was dangy. We'll make a new one over there. And at the end of the video, you see it on it. It's very heavy, so that's why. All right, see you out there. Now our strap's ready. Let's move it out. Of course you got me with me. This right here, it's Yes, it's Lucas. I'll see you in part three. No, 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 no. <laughs> Why did I do that? Okay. Hope the video's over. Wait, it's not over. Ah!